Hi and welcome. I'm Lisa. Thanks for joining me for another card video here on YouTube and my blog. Today I'm sharing a very simple technique using Distress Oxide Sprays and Embossing Folders to create gorgeous backgrounds. And these backgrounds are perfect for our big word alpha dies. So I'm going to get started using several Distress Oxide Sprays. I'm using embossing folders and an embossing plate, a brayer, and Bristol Smooth paper. You can use watercolor paper, I just prefer the Bristol Smooth. So I'm going to start by lightly spraying the Distress Oxide sprays on the inside front flap of the embossing folder. I'm spraying squeezed lemonade, spiced marmalade, and picked raspberry. I'm laying a piece of Bristol Smooth paper down, closing the embossing folder, and using the brayer to roll over the folder. Here's the finished background. So let's set this aside to dry and keep going. Using the remaining ink, I spritz it with shimmer spray, lay down another piece of paper, close the folder, rolling the brayer over it again. You'll get several backgrounds from this before you need to add more Distress Oxide Spray to the embossing folder. Here you can see the second background is a bit lighter than the first. So here's the embossing plate for the next background, spritzed with Distress Oxide Spray in the color Peacock Feathers. Lay down a piece of Bristol Smooth paper and roll over it with the brayer. I was pleasantly surprised at how these turned out using the embossing plate. I absolutely love the way that this looks. And I'm going to go back over that embossing plate, adding some Distress Oxide ink and Twisted Citron, a little bit of shimmer spray, laying down another piece of paper and rolling over it once more with the brayer. So you can see how very simple this technique is and I hope that you'll give it a try sometime. So here's all the backgrounds that I created using the Distress Oxide Spray Embossing Folder Technique. I'm going to share a few of the cards I created using these backgrounds. So for the two that I did on the embossing plate, I decided I wanted to camouflage the corners that were a little muddled. So I grabbed a Heidi Swap stencil and Cosmic Shimmer Sparkle Texture Paste in the color Ocean Spray. If you haven't tried the Cosmic Shimmer Paste, I have to tell you I absolutely love this paste and I highly recommend it. It's amazing texture and it adds such gorgeous sparkle to your projects. It's just beautiful. But when you order it, just be sure that you get the one that says Shimmer Sparkle on it because they have several different types of paste. So, moving on, I've been wanting to use this Simon Says Flower Circle die and thought this was the perfect time to use it. I start by using a stitch square die cut and then center the flower circle die on that. Using a few pieces of scrap orange cardstock. I cut the flower circle die two more times, snip the flowers out of the circle and stack them together. I'm going to finish this card off by adding 3D mounting foam to the back of it, adhering it to a square card base and finish it off with sequins. And you'll see the finished card at the end of the video. So I've done some uh, die cutting using uh, Hero Arts rectangle dies big word dies, alphabet dies, some butterflies, and I die cut some sentiment strips. I went ahead and added my backgrounds to card bases and stamped my sentiments. I'm just finishing off the cards with sequins. Now, I talked about a new glue in my last video and that if it proved itself worthy, I would be sharing that glue with you today. It's clear Gorilla Glue. You can see it in the bottle and it's crystal clear with a very strong bond. It does take a little time for it to dry, but I feel it's worth the dry time. I'll have all these products listed for you below and on my blog. If you could please click the subscribe button and the notification bell, I would be so grateful. You can find my website at lisamincing.com. 
subscribe to start getting first looks at my videos and other content. Also, I have some fun information over there to include inspiration boards and color palettes that I created myself. So, okay, I think that's a wrap for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll try this technique out sometime. As always, please know how much I appreciate you and until next time, keep crafting.